Now, I already did a part one talking about, you know, some Sonic characters who had some drip, and a lot of you guys had some comments saying that I should have done more than five characters. Uh, of course, I only did, like, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Eggman, and uh, Shadow. That was, like, the entire video right there. But you guys wanted me to talk about other characters like Vector, Silver, and of course, I'm not going to say that those guys don't have drip, and I, I feel like I kind of neglected talking about them because I want to talk about the main core five of the series. But you know what? Let's get into it. Let's talk about some more Sonic characters who have some swag, who have some drip. Without any further introduction, let's just jump right up into it. Also, before I get into it, let me just say this. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It definitely goes a super long way. But anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so the first character I want to look at here in our part 2 is Amy Rose, one of the most popular Sonic characters, and it's kind of obvious why we should probably talk about her first. Right off the bat, the first thing you might notice about Amy Rose is the gold wristbands, and I think for those alone, I'm already going to give her at least a B tier. I mean, um, we know Shadow the Hedgehog already has the similar gold wristbands as I mentioned before in part 1, and already, that's kind of already a great start. So, let's move on to talk about the other parts of Amy's outfit. Alright, so the second thing you might notice about Amy is the red and white dress matching the red and white boots. Everything is really tied together with her outfit here, and the eyes really just kind of complete the entire look since it's a completely different color than the rest of her outfit being green. Not to mention, you may or may not have noticed, but Amy is a hedgehog, and her quills are completely different than what we've seen before with Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. Her quills go down, unlike the other hedgehogs, and I think that's a completely different look, and also you wouldn't really be able to tell that she is a hedgehog unless you actually looked it up. Like, when I was younger, I had no clue until I actually looked it up and tried to find it out later. But even still, that's what makes her completely original and different from everybody else. So I'm gonna have to put Amy at A tier. I think Amy's outfit is 100% great, but I think there's still some more work to be done if it's going to be S tier drip status. Alright, so now let's move on to the most requested character for part 2, Vector the Crocodile. A lot of you guys complain that I forgot about this character, and honestly I have to agree with you, I completely neglected this guy because he might possibly have the best drip in the entire Sonic series. I know I said Shadow before, but let's take a deeper look at Vector here, because he's already going to be S tier if you couldn't tell. I do want to acknowledge the fact that Sonic characters seem to have somewhat of a common trend of wearing gold or something along those lines, and I think Vector is no different. Now, unlike the other characters I've talked about before, he's not wearing a gold wristband or anything like that. My man has a solid gold chain. Now you see, he really makes this chain work because of the headphones he's got on his head, the wristbands that also for some reason seem to match the color scheme of the chain, and same with the shoes as well, because black and yellow really go good together, and Vector does not seem to miss with that. His eyes even match the chain and the clothing he already wears too, so he really just ties the whole look together with the green thrown up in there with his scales and all that. Vector really might have the best drip of the series, and if you disagree, you're wrong. Okay, I'm kidding. But but he really does deserve to be in S tier dripping status. For those of you who are mad that I forgot Vector on my tier list, once again, I apologize. Hopefully, this serves as a proper apology. The next character who deserves to be ranked is Silver the Hedgehog. Now, for those of you who don't know or maybe just forgot, Silver the Hedgehog comes from the future, so his gear does look like it, I don't know, comes from the future. If you look closely, but not that closely, you can see that Silver's gloves and his wristbands glow, and also right at the top of his shoes also glow, so Silver's really got that whole glowing thing going on there. Silver is that type of guy who would wear the light-up Skechers at school and amass so much creds. Silver's quills really actually contrast the light-up glow that he already has, considering he's a gray color. With the light blue glow and also the shoes being a completely different color than his usual color scheme, it really makes the whole thing pop. Not to mention, he's got gold bands yet again. So, I'm gonna have to put Silver in S tier. Let's just be real here. If it's from the future, the drip has to be fire. And Silver does not disappoint. Alright, so I may have gotten a tad bit out of order there, as I should have done the Chaotix in the lineup, but let's just get to Espio the Chameleon. Now, we already know that his character is supposed to be a ninja, and I feel like he kind of captures that aesthetic, but I feel like he could have done a much better job of it. Don't get me wrong, his design is still 
fire nonetheless, but I feel like there's definitely more work that could have been done here to make him feel like more of a ninja type character. And I feel like his design could have been much cooler if he had some sort of ninja outfit or maybe even like a kunai by his side at all times. Of course, this design is still fire and the drip is still immaculate. However, I'm gonna have to give it a B tier. There's definitely some things that could have been changed here, but you know what? It's still fire. Alright, so now we move on to Charmy, who I believe has the worst drip out of the three. Now, let's not get it twisted, he still does have a little something going on there, but I mean, I'm not really feeling it. For starters, Charmy is a B, and uh, there's a couple things you notice right off the bat. His jacket has a B on it, he's got, you know, the little helmet thing going on there that I guess is like a flight cap, I guess, or is that part of his head? No one really knows. But then as we go further, we can see that he has zippers on his shoes. In my opinion, this is just not a fit I would wear, so I'm gonna have to give it a C tier status. Also, trust me when I say that this is not Charmy B slander. I know that's pretty popular in the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base and the community because for some reason nobody really likes Charmy, but I don't have a problem with him. Even still though, I just don't think this fit is really it. It may work for him, but even still, it's definitely C tier drip. Alright, so the next one on the list is actually a, another highly requested character, and that is Rouge the Bat. Now, her fit is a bit different than literally every other Sonic character we've seen thus far. So far, the general common thread we've been able to see from all these characters strip is that it's mostly just common sportswear, something along those lines. It's something that is really casual that you'd kind of see that an actual person would really walk out wearing, at least in the everyday setting. Rouge's fit is a bit different because it's not really that. It doesn't really match the status quo. But I think for that reason, I'm gonna have to put it in S tier. You see, what Rouge has going on here is something that's very unique, but at the same time, not too far off of left field. Rouge's outfit really works so nicely together because of the contrast in her outfit. You see, the black and the white contrast, as well as the black and the pink. Everything is just tied so well nicely together that it really just works visually. Not to mention, her character also has a light blue eyeshadow that really complements the white design she has, and also contrasts her black outfit. Although the outfit is unlike anything we've ever seen in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise before, it still uses the exact same properties that make a good Sonic drip, or at least a good drip in general. The use of complementing and contrasting colors really make this character have S tier status drip, and that's just a fact. Alrighty, so with Rouge the Bat done, I want to talk about the two cat characters that we have in the Sonic franchise, first being Blaze the Cat. And even though she wasn't that highly of a requested character, I still do believe that she deserves to be talked about on this list. First things first, before we talk about her drip, I do want to mention, and you probably already know this if you're a Sonic fan, but her powers are pyrokinesis, meaning that she uses fire. And I think this is important because if she was wearing a red outfit, it would be very, very, very obvious. And I think that's what makes her outfit really cool. Because she doesn't wear anything red or orange or anything along those lines, you wouldn't expect that she'd be using a fire ability, but you can tell with looking at her eyes. Blaze's eye color is a bright orange or kind of like a reddish color, and I think that alone tells you that she has some sort of pyrokinesis powers. I think that alone really makes her character really stand out and break the mold from other fire using characters. We're so used to seeing these fire users have some sort of red or orange outfit to indicate that, hey, these characters use fire. Blaze is so different in that direction. However, I do believe that there's still one thing that's prohibiting this character from being at S tier level drip. And that thing is, well, her colors are really kind of the same scheme. Like, there's nothing here that's really eye-popping, you know? There's something really that says wow, or it's really eccentric about this character's design. Most of her colors here really just blend together, and it doesn't really feel like it's all something completely new that we haven't seen before. I mean, the shoes are even kind of the same to Sonic the Hedgehogs, at least to some degree. And of course, in saying this, I mean by no disrespect to Blaze the Cat, I think she's one of the best characters in the series, and I really love this character. However, I'm still going to have to put her at A tier. That's the highest I'm gonna go. I do not believe this character has S tier drip. At least, not yet. Someone in the comment section, please try to change my mind. Alright, so with Blaze the Cat out of the way, we can finally move on to the Sonic character that's taking the world by storm, and that is Big the Cat, the cat that everybody cares about. Nah, but actually, in all fairness, I'm gonna have to give Big a D tier in drip. Now, let me just say this. 
when it comes to drip, it's got to be eccentric. It's got to be something that's really eye-popping, and it's got to be something that really makes you want to wear that outfit. However, if you look at Big, he's just a fisherman. Like, like he's got the, the sandals and also the belt and also some gloves on. Sure, that's it. But that, like, like that's the whole fit. That's it right there. Like, when it comes to Sonic or other characters, at least they're wearing some really stylish kicks or something like that. Big's really just got some sandals on. And sure, the outfit is simplistic to match his character, but either way, I don't think that's drip. I just think that's regular clothing. So I'm gonna have to give Big a D tier at best. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think when developing Big's design, he was supposed to be this way. He wasn't supposed to be a character that make you go, wow, his clothes are so cool. Like, he's supposed to be a simplistic kind of person, you know, just wandering through life. And that's really it. And I think that's exactly what this fit does. Now, does that mean he has drip? Again, no. But you can still try to put me wrong in the comment section down below. Go ahead, I'm willing to hear all your responses. Okay, so now let's move on to another character that I actually really do care about a lot. And, um, yeah, no, that's not being sarcastic or anything like that. I really do care about this character, Infinite. I want to talk about Infinite Strip for just a moment. Okay, so to be honest, his design does not have a whole lot of eye-popping qualities. Everything really here is just a lot of black and gray just mending together. That said though, if you look at the Fanta Ruby and also his eye color, and also his powers that he has, they really contrast the rest of his design, and I think that's what makes him super cool. Now this just might be my own personal bias because I really do like this character a lot, but I'm going to put Infinite at A tier drip. Infinite kind of operates the same way Blaze the Cat does, where the design is kind of all the same color, but the powers itself are completely different from what the design has to offer, and I think that's what makes him a really cool character, or at least cool in design standpoint. Then again, that might be my own personal bias because I actually really do like Infinite, but that's a conversation for another day. The next character we have to talk about here is Jet the Hawk, and I think he is very similar to Sonic the Hedgehog in a lot of ways in terms of drip. First and foremost, he's a character who is all green, but he has red shoes, which is similar to how Sonic is all blue with red shoes as well. I really don't know if this is on purpose, but I have to say that these shoes are still fire nonetheless. Look at these joints! I mean, I'm not even sure if this is like a Velcro issue going on here, or laces, or whatever this is, but this is fire! Look at that design, bro! I'd wear that, bro! Come on! I think the shoes alone put him at least at a B or A tier, but the glasses kind of push him forward to maybe probably an A tier. The goggles are pretty fire nonetheless, and I think they look really good on top of his head. So, Jet's got a pretty fire fit going on here, I'm gonna have to give him an A tier. Alright, but with that said though, I can actually move Jet up to S tier if you throw in the extreme gear. But that's only if you throw in the extreme gear. If you don't have the extreme gear, he still stays at A tier. However, since there are occasions where Jet does not have the extreme gear, like in Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games, I'm gonna have to keep him without it anyway, just because that's just his character. He doesn't always have that. So I'm gonna have to keep him at A tier. I'm sorry, Jet fans, he cannot move any higher. At least, not in my opinion. So the penultimate characters we're going to move on to talk about in today's video are Cream the Rabbit and Cheese the Chow. Now, I'm gonna talk about these two uh, together because they come in pairs. You really don't see one without the other, and if you do, it's pretty rare. As much as I love these two characters, there really isn't anything in terms of their outfit that really screams super drippy to me. Both these two characters don't really have a whole lot that really contrasts their own personal design. That said though, I do think it's really cool how their outfit contrasts each other. As you notice, Cheese is wearing an orange bow tie and Cream is wearing a blue tie. That would really show that these two are really close. But as I said on my Ranking Sonic Characters by Drip video before, um, the drip really has to be able to stand on its own, and I think if Cream's fit were to stand on its own, it'd really fall flat on its face. Same thing for Cheese since it's just a bow tie. Without each other, there really isn't anything attention grabbing about their outfits. Before we get to the final character though, I just want to remind you all to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, thank you all for watching this far, we are finally going to get into the last character, who is Chaos. Literally, the big drip. So with that said, he's gonna have to be an S tier. Let's just be real here. I personally did not think of this pun. I'm gonna give this all up to the people who thought of this in the comments section down below on the previous Ranking Sonic Characters by Drip video because y'all are spectacular, y'all are famous, y'all are beautiful people. Thank you all so much. This is a beautiful punchline. But seriously though, Chaos really does have the best drip since he literally is made of water. He's made of fluid. He's got drip. Chaos is the big drip. 
what is going on guys thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of the video i really had a lot of fun making this one because unlike the first one i was trying to do it completely non-scripted and just go off my own thoughts and personal feelings about these fits just by looking at the characters themselves bottom line is i hope you guys had as much fun watching this as i had making it because this was super fun but anyway let's get to the question who do you guys think has the best drip in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise? Is there a character I missed? Let me know in the comment section down below who you think I should have talked about. Also, let me know down below if there's a character who you thought should have been ranked higher or lower. I'd always love to check out what you guys have to say about your own personal thoughts about this tier list. As always though, let's make sure they're wholesome thoughts because in all seriousness, I'm just a guy at a desk who has Sonic opinions. That's really as deep as it goes, so let's not make it any deeper than that. It honestly and truly just isn't that serious. Alright, so let's move on to thank my wonderful, beautiful, excellent, amazing channel members because you guys are just truly the best. Without you guys, videos like these would not even be possible. Every day I wake up praising the Lord because I have amazing people like you, and I thank you so much for your continued support. I know I say this a lot, but your support really does go a super long way. If you want to become a member of my channel, there will be more information in the link in the description down below. But if you want to support me through other means, leaving a like, comment, and subscribing definitely goes a super duper long way. Anyway, with all that said and done, thank you all again so much for watching. This is Sonic's signing out. Have a super blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?